Hey everybody, this is Nina with Budget Yarn Reviews. This video is another installment in my Ultimate Acrylic Yarn Comparison series. Um, this video is going to show you all of the yarns in crochet swatches. Uh, so you know what it looks like when it's crocheted. And I'll also make some comments on how they work up. Um, what the workability is like um, when crocheting. Because it's obviously different than knitting. Um, which if you're interested in how they work up. When you're knitting um, or seeing what the knit swatches look like, there is a separate video just for that. So let's get started. This yarn right here on top. Uh, this is Premier Everyday DK. This is super nice to crochet with. Um, loved this yarn um, for both knit and crochet. Um, not squeaky, not splitty. Uh, didn't have no negative comments to make at all in regards to this. Uh, next up, Loops and Threads Joy EK. I also don't have any negative comments to make about this yarn. This was also really nice to work with. Not squeaky, not splitty. I would I would work another project in this yarn. Uh, this one is Casey Smooth, uh, the new yarn from the Knit and Crochet brand at Joanne. Um, if you've watched my other video where I have the knit swatches of this yarn, you can see the drape is totally different. The amazing drape absolutely does not translate to crochet. Um, drape and crochet in it is always different anyway, but it's just so drastically different um, with this yarn. Uh, the one thing to note about this yarn, so this, this is the second time it's been swatched. It was knit first. This is it's crocheted. It's been through the wash. And so you can see all the many, many plies, they're coming undone. Um, and for that reason, this first row was really, really splitty. And that's because it had already started unraveling. Um, after I got past that point, no splitting, no squeaking. Um, this is going to be a fine yarn as long as you don't have to do a lot of frogging. I don't think it'll hold up. All right. This is Stylecraft Special DK. A uh, nice soft yarn, um, nothing really stand out about it one way or another, no squeaking, no splitting. Um, overall, it's fine to work with. Next up, Cascade Yarns North Shore. Uh, in all of my videos, I have been calling out this yarn as the acrylic that feels like cotton. Uh, it, it really works up like cotton. Um, if you don't like crocheting with cotton yarns, then I do not recommend that you crochet with this acrylic yarn. Um, it's stiffer, it's harder to work with, and I personally would never commit to a large project in this. Um, it's not as bad when you knit, so if you're a knitter, uh, it, I would consider it. Um, but as a crocheter, I would steer clear. Um, which is interesting considering they don't even recommend a crochet hook on the label. All right, this is Lion Brad Basic Stitch Premium. There are two versions of the Lion Brand Basic Stitch. Um, the Premium is a three-ply, more rustic version. Very soft, very easy to work with. Um, what was interesting about this is they recommended that you use a larger crochet hook for the Premium than with the anti-pilling. So it's definitely got a different effect to it. But overall, nice yarn to crochet with. This is Loops and Threads Impeccable. This is the first of four value yarns that's in this uh, stack here. Um, it's stiff. It's not as soft as a lot of these yarns. If you're on a budget and making something for a baby or a pet, um, somebody that durability or... Although, honestly, I shouldn't say anything about that. I don't know how durable these are yet. Haven't been sending them through the wash yet. But... Um, for a large project, I personally would not enjoy committing to using this yarn. Uh, everyone has kind of their own tolerance level for how much you want to just get a project done for a certain price versus how much enjoyment you get out of the process. And if you're a person who is very process oriented, want to enjoy the process, enjoy the yarn you're working with, um, there are other value yarns worth considering instead. Okay, 
This here is the Schaschenmeyer Soft and Easy. I still have no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly, and I ought to just look it up. Uh, this one was fine, was great to knit with, but I didn't really enjoy crocheting with it. Um, it's got lots of the tinier plies again, one of those S on S plies that makes it super soft. Um, but just like the other S on S plies, that means by the time you frog it, uh, it starts to split. Uh, this is the second swatch. It hasn't started splitting yet, but um, I'm curious to see how it handles uh, the third time around. So again, good yarn. If you have lots of frogging to do, you might steer clear. All right, this here is Willow Wash. And this yarn was a pleasure to work with. So if you are somebody who really cares about the individual experience, like the experience of the process, um, as well as the end product, I would recommend something like this over some of the cheap value yarns. Um, you're going to enjoy crocheting with it a lot more, and I think the end result is going to be a lot nicer too, because it's softer. All right, this yarn I am very familiar with. This is Lion Brand Jeans. Um, knitting with it is usually just fine, as is crocheting with it. Uh, as an S on S ply yarn, you will have to worry about how well it holds up with frogging. Um, but this one thus far, this is this, again the second swatch, has held up better than some of the other S on S plies yarn. It wasn't anywhere near as um, loosely wound after so many run throughs. Uh, so overall, I think it'll split less, but there is this possibility of splitting after frogging. All right, the second value yarn that I'm gonna show you, this is Hobby Lobby's I Love This Yarn. If you had to choose a cheap value yarn, I would choose this one over Loops and Threads Impeccable. It is softer, it is less stiff, and so if process, enjoying what you're doing is important to you, you will enjoy working with this yarn better. All right, third value yarn, this is Karen One Pound. This one's a lot more similar to the Loops and Threads Impeccable. Stiff, not as soft. Um, it might be a little less stiff and a little softer, um, but I would still rank this one below something like the Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. Um, for a large project, I would, I would steer clear from this one and the Loops and Threads Impeccable just because I do value the process and what I'm in, and I want to enjoy what I'm doing um, because a lot of times if you're giving things as gifts, uh, you don't necessarily get to enjoy the end product. And so what I mean, the process is your enjoyment. And if you can't enjoy that because you have a yarn you don't like, then what's the point? <laughs> so anyway, moving on. Uh, this yarn is Red Heart Soft. And everything I have to say about this is kind of to be expected. Uh, this was the first of two yarns in all of these that I found to be squeaky. Um, lots of people know that Red Heart yarns are squeaky. Um, it was also one of two yarns that were definitely splitty even from the get-go. Like these are still, um, these are the second swatches on most of these. And I wouldn't expect to see, okay, let me, let me back up. Uh, to clarify how I feel and think about splitting. Whenever I think about a bad split of yarn, I think about one yarn in particular. It was a higher end roving yarn and just about every 10 stitches, uh, my knitting needle would go through and split the yarn just because the ply was so poor. Uh, I, I should say that it wasn't a roving yarn. It was a lightly plied yarn. Um, it was definitely it was definitely applied a little better than your standard roving. But anyway, um, one in every 10 stitches, that's a nightmare to work with. That's awful. Uh, with this yarn, with Red Heart Soft, I experienced maybe one split stitch per row. So that is way more splitty than the other ones, but not terrible. I mean, it it's workable. So uh, it depends on you and your tolerance. I don't have much tolerance for splitting. Um, and so for the price, I don't think I would buy another skein of this yarn based on workability alone. 
The other soft yarn in this stack, Karen Simply Soft. Uh, this was the other splitty yarn where about once a row I was experiencing a splitty, a split stitch. Uh, however, I did not experience that at all with knitting. So I don't like, I think that might be a crochet only experience with this yarn. We're, we're going to see how it handles. Um, I, I still have to knit this one more time and I've got, I've got a secret theory for knit swatches. So if you're a knitter, be sure and check out subsequent videos on that. But this yarn wasn't squeaky. Other than the once per row splitting, um, not a bad yarn. I, I was surprised. It was better than I remember from my previous crochet days. All right, this is the other Lion Brand Basic Stitch yarn. This is the anti-pilling variation. This was really nice to work with, uh, just like the other one. Nice, easy, soft, enjoyable yarn for crochet or knitting. This is the last value yarn in the stack. This is the Big Twist Value yarn from Joanne. Uh, this is much nicer than the Impeccable and the Karen One Pound. This is more comparable to the Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn. If you're looking for affordable value yarn, I would consider Big Twist Value or Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn if you really want Good workability. You don't want something too stiff and you want something that's soft. This here is the King Cole Cherish. I enjoyed this yarn in the skein a lot. I enjoyed knitting with this yarn, but I didn't like crocheting with it. Um, it was it was splitty. Um, and I mean it is an S on S ply. You can see all the little strands here. Not quite as many as some of the other. Oh no, there is. Just doesn't show up on camera well. Um, so this is one that definitely wouldn't hold up to frogging. This is only the second swatch, and I felt that it was a little splitty. So I I would probably avoid crocheting with this one if if you have to do any frogging. It'll it'll handle the first two times just fine. Um, but I'm afraid of what this is going to be like the third time. All right, we're nearing the end here. Uh, this here is Knit Picks Brava. This one was really squeaky. This was squeakier than the Red Heart Soft, and I didn't expect that. Um, it didn't split, but it was really squeaky, and for me, that's kind of a deal breaker. So I don't think I'll be using Knit Picks Brava in any projects anytime soon. But that's because I, I really don't tolerate squeaking well. So depending on your personal preference, um, keep an eye on this here and see how it continues to go in the comparison. All right, last but not least, this is the paint box Simply Iran. This yarn is, it works up uh, better than like the cheap, the cheap, cheap value yarns like the Impeccable. Um, and the Karen One Pound, um, but it's definitely comparable to the Hobby Lobby. I love this yarn and the Big Twist Value. Uh, it's only three ply, so it's got a more rustic look than those two yarns. Um, but the way it feels, the way it worked up, it was definitely more comparable to those two. So, I don't know. I... It, since this one's only available online, I personally don't know that I would go out of my way to get it because in terms of workability, there's nothing super special about it. But anyway, uh, I'm giving you all this data so you can make your own choices because we all have our own preferences, what we want, need, and look for in yarn, depending on whether or not you're knitting or crocheting. So I'm hoping that these videos are helping you guys figure out what yarns you want to try. Uh, and I hope you'll continue to stay tuned for the rest of the comparison. Um, I'll talk to you next time.